Okay, hi, uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, my name is Sean Bouchard, and I'm going to be playcasting, um, <laughs> I think, my uh, Hotline Miami, um, which is, uh, I guess, in, in Russian all of a sudden. Um, don't know. Uh, this is my first time ever playing the game. Um, I actually know very little about it. Uh, I know that it's a you know, very popular indie game. Um, I know that it has a reputation for being um, extremely violent, uh, so um, here's a warning uh, if you're unfamiliar with the game. Uh, I expect this to be very, very violent, um, uh, and, and bloody violent, graphically violent, although uh, graphically at an extremely low fidelity. I think this is kind of like a very pixelated, pixel art um, game with a very distinctive musical and visual style. So I'm super interested to see what that's like. Um, this is also the first real action game that I'm playcasting. Um, I think this is going to be markedly different than, uh, than the Stanley Parable, certainly, and um, than Papo Io. Um, we will see how it goes. I don't know if this is going to lend itself as well to... Um, uh, the kind of analysis that I try to do, but I, um, I'm still interested in the same things in this game uh, as I always am. I'm interested in um, what the game is trying to teach me and how it goes about trying to do that, um, and, uh, and how it designs the experience for the player. So we're going to be kind of just looking at those same things. Um, yeah, um, I, I think I think we're gonna get started and uh, and see how it goes. So I'm starting a a new game. I think I don't really know the controls even. So guys, telling me how to kill people. First line of the game sets the stage. Right, this is gonna be a game about killing people. Uh, click the mouse to go through this. This game is controlled with uh, WASD keys and mouse. Press the left mouse button to punch. Aim for the face, right? Get right down to business. Once you've knocked somebody out, you have to finish him. To do this, you press space. You got it? Are you sure? I think I got it. Left mouse button to punch. Space to finish. Do you understand me? Don't mess this up. So, I can punch. I can I can move. Got it. Movement. Okay. Already like ridiculously bloody. Like this is. And then I press space. Got it. And then I punch him in the face like a bunch of times. Um. Wow. That's, I mean, this is, this already feels awful. The sound effect, that punch sound effect, when I've got him down on the ground and I'm just pressing the, the mouse button to, like, continually punch him, um, is extremely visceral. Press the right mouse button when next to it to take it. Press the left mouse button to swing it. Uh, deck it through your thick skull did it so this guy is actually like he's he's helping me but he's doing so from a very aggressive um confrontational standpoint i mean the whole game is already confront like it's it's confrontational from the get-go uh are you even listening we'll get to it then i mean you know i don't know interesting am i am i listening in interesting that there's a there's like a gun cocking uh, sound for picking up the bat. So let's get to the guns. I mean that foreshadows guns, right? This game I think it's going to be about guns. Go and get the shotgun in the blue room. I love how they're color coding these rooms. I mean it's really not necessary for how simple this game is, but um, it, it's it helps. Like it it makes it incredibly clear. Um, do it the same way you picked up the bat, press and hold the uh, right mouse, pr just press the right mouse button. Can you handle that? 
Extremely confrontational. Use the shift button to look for enemies out of view. Okay. Doing a good job of, of sort of pacing out and parceling out these um, controls. Um, press a scroll wheel to lock onto enemies. Just make sure to place your crosshairs over them first. Right mouse button to grab, shift to look. Again, this is like, because he's confront. this is actually really interesting. Because he's taken this confrontational stance where like he doesn't trust me and he's yelling at me, um, it gives him a narrative excuse to repeat all of these commands over and over again, um, which uh, is super helpful because players generally don't um, listen to commands. Like, I'm the, they don't pay attention to these sorts of control instructions. Left mouse button to shoot, scroll wheel to lock on. I think I got it. Uh, go ahead and kill the guy in the yellow room. I assume that's the yellow Look, I can do my shift thing. Yellow room isn't as clear as the other room. So I can... I can Oh shit, where did I throw it? I threw away the gun. Guys, I already... Oh, here we go. Alright. So I can do that, and now I'm just... I'm always gonna face him. That's handy. God! The, um... I mean, it happens very, it's very quick, so I can't tell if the camera's doing anything, but the sound effects are, like, spot on. Super, super visceral. Okay, that's the basics. There's always more tricks to learn. You can throw any weapon you pick up. Figured that out, thank you, uh, by pressing your right mouse button. You can use doors to knock enemies over. That's good tactical advice. Guns are very loud and will alert your foes, so there's a stealth component. Uh, plan your moves and use melee weapons when you can. God damn it, you'll just get yourself killed anyway. So he's now dismissive of me as well as sort of aggressive towards me. Uh, which gives me something to prove, right? So <clears throat> my immediate motivate I've got two motivations. Very, very outside of the game, like tutorial level. That was super simple. It's doing two things. It's it's um, teaching me the controls, like how do I actually play this game, uh, and then it's also uh, giving me like a reason to start. Like, what am I doing? And this isn't narrative. We've introduced zero narrative at this point. <clears throat> but there's two things going on. One is it's um, viscerally satisfying to kill people in this game. I've done it three times, and I've gotten a feel for it. It's also, it's kind of deeply uncomfortable, especially the, the guy that I, like, punched in the face until he died. But there's something between the sound effects and the, the controls, like, it's, it's well-tuned. It is satisfying to do. Um, and then secondly, this guy just basically said, I bet you can't do this, right? He just jammed at me, and so now I've got something to prove. Not to a character, I mean, not to it like in any narrative sense, just me as a player. He just sort of like insulted and questioned my ability as a player to play this game. So that's why I'm going to continue. That's why I'm going to play this game. How's the. Is the audio okay? Got like real, real loud. Who do we have here? Horse. You don't know who you are? Maybe we should leave it that way. Interesting. Chicken. Look at my face, we've met before. Haven't we? Horse, chicken, owl. I like how they all have a color scheme associated with them. Why are you here? You're no guest of mine. Do you really want me to reveal who you are? Knowing oneself means acknowledging one's actions. Uh, okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna try to fix the audio just a bit. Let me know. Let me know if that's better. 
Um, knowing oneself means acknowledging one's actions. As of lately, you've done some terrible things. Well, I did just th kill three guys. You don't remember me? I'll give you a clue. Does April the 3rd mean anything to you? I believe that was the day of our first encounter. You look like you might be remembering something. April 3rd, here we go, 1989. So, this game is like, steeped in this 1980s, uh, aesthetic, right? All of this, um, hot pink, neon, uh, it's like, Miami Vice, like, I don't know, it's, it's super 89, I mean, it just, it feels that way. Alright, let's see what I can do. I, so, I can't even punch yet. I can't do anything. I'm a non-player at this point. Like, I, I've been stripped of the few abilities that I was given in the tutorial. Uh, that also suggests to me that I'm, I'm not starting this out as a, uh, like, a, as a, as a violent character, as a fighter. I'm starting this out as, like, a normal person. I walk around and, uh, I don't have, you know, I'm not a video game character. I'm not just gonna, like, punch the air for no reason. You have one new message. <clears throat> this is Tim at the bakery. I love, I love the quotes around Tim. Uh, cookies you ordered should be delivered by now. A list of ingredients included. Make sure that you read them carefully. Um... I had to click twice to actually read the ingredient, like once to open the package, and then once to look at the ingredients, and that that felt satisfying in the same way that like having to actually punch the guy in the face several times uh, felt satisfying. Like it feels like I'm part of this world. Um, controls are well. I mean, I don't know about the combat controls. I am gonna just a warning. I'm like really bad at video games, so we're gonna. It's gonna be a thing. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but so far, just like wandering around with no time pressure or anything, um, controls feel like really, really nice. They are tuned. Uh, discretion is of the essence. Leave target at point F32 inside the dumpster. Terrifying message. Failure is not an option. We'll be watching you. God damn it, who am I? What have I gotten myself into? My my suspicion is that this is not a game about who I am and what I've gotten myself into. I, I, I don't think it's going to resolve those questions. But we'll find out. I certainly am curious. It is, and it has gone out of its way to sort of make me curious. In that opening segment with the, with the like, three guys in the masks there's there's a lot of like specifically asking me about my past do do i am i wondering about my past things that are prompting me to wonder about my past so it, it sort of feels like this is a game that's going to throw me into like you know you're just this guy who is going to go around killing a bunch of people uh recklessness is rewarded i will remember that um I'm gonna go around killing a bunch of people, but uh, at, at the same time, like, it's it's not gonna be silent on that question of who are you and what is the narrative. It's gonna, it's like, you know, like an open wound, it's gonna prod at it. It's just gonna keep, like, making, it's gonna bring that question to the forefront, um, whether or not it actually answers it. Oh, oh, I'm selecting things. I'm selecting masks. One of them is named Richard. All of the other ones are unavailable. I select Richard, and now I've put on a chicken mask. Uh, and I can look around, look at how there's only one guy in this room. I'm gonna knock him over with the... Oh God, that is awful. And now I get a bat that sounds like a gun. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. He, he was faster than me, here we go. Nope. Nope. 
nope, nope. Oh, right, also I have to kill this guy. Got it, got it. That time I got it. I don't know what other things there are. Can I interact with this world at all? I cannot. So, my, my existence in the world appears to be limited to opening doors and hitting guys with baseball bats. I mean, the game's just very clear about what it is that it's about and what, what my role is. So, okay. Now there's, now there's some wandering guys. Like, this is a really good uh, staged introduction to the game elements. Like, like, you know, first we have some guys who are not hostile that I can practice on, and then we have a couple of guys who are hostile, but they're like stationary. And now we're getting into, we got guys moving around, I have to pay attention to where they all are. This is gonna go real badly. And there's, there were two of them, weren't there? Are they gonna spot me? Are they gonna see that I have like destroyed a guy's head and he's laying on the floor here? Or are they, they're very, very simple. Okay, good to know. Oh, they're also very fast. Also good to know. Oh, okay. That was close. I almost did it. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Alright. So as long as they don't have guns... What's going on over here? Is this this is three guys? Hmm. Okay. Oh, he dodged me. Okay. So that's a thing that can happen. Let's go. Okay, so recklessness is rewarded, but not that much. Guys, this is gonna be a real long game. If uh, oh shit. Okay. If I if I can't get through the the second stage. I assume that the pipe is better. This guy's still alive. Okay. That was a thing that I did. Alright, how about I, um... silly. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out what the best way to approach this is. Uh, oh! Oh! You know what? Maybe a knife is better than a, than a bat or a club. I got a knife now. Let me see if I can just charge in with this knife. <laughs> no! No! Alright, so, what is the game trying to teach me here? Um, like, like, I'm getting better, I'm establishing a pattern at, like, defeating these guys. Um, but there are, there are more complicated tactical situations. 
Oh, whoops. Also, I shouldn't just throw away my knife. Was I facing the wrong direction, maybe? God, I, uh... I hope I don't regret playing this with a mouse and keyboard. Alright, um, so, like, I, I feel like I've mastered that first half of this stage, um, but now the game is trying to teach me something new, and I, and I haven't quite figured out what it is, uh, and it might be about, um, just thinking tactically smarter than I am, uh, or it might be about actually like techniques that I'm supposed to pick up. And I'm not sure if, like it seems like this long hallway, one thing that I want to do is like throw my knife down the hallway and kill one of these guys so that I only have the other one to deal with. Um, but then I'm left without a weapon and that seems like it's no good. There's also, there's, a, there's this door right here that um, seems conspicuous, seems like I should be able to use that, but I'm not sure how to use that. So, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm locked onto this guy with the knife. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can um, run in there, throw my knife, kill him, come back, grab the pipe, and face the other guy with the pipe. I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, I can't actually go through the door. But I can, I can wander really far away and remain locked onto the guy that I was locked onto. So now let's see if I can, if there's a, if there's a sense of cover in this game. Can I, if I do this? Well, first of all, did I hit him? I don't think I hit him. No, I just threw a knife like over near him, uh, which is weird. It's weird that he's not like suspicious of that. I like I like how you sort of you shift your weight as you throw this uh, as you um, swing the pipe. So you go from left to right and then right to left. All right. I don't know. I'm gonna. Two at a time is uh, is like really. I feel like I'm. It, there's a there's a tactical problem. It's not just like I'm not fast enough. That I'm uh, well, so sometimes I'm not fast enough. But um, that that two guys, like it's teaching me. It's cert. Okay, it is certainly teaching me that two guys in one place is a much different problem and a harder problem to solve than one guy or even like guys that are patrolling around similar areas. I'm learning that lesson really well. I'm just not learning sort of what the technique is to get past it. I'm gonna wait for this guy to come around, make it really easy to kill him. I like killing people from behind. Oh, interesting. So, so, okay, I am much faster with this knife. But I think it has less reach than the pipe. So I'm gonna try this one more time. There we go. So, what did it teach me? It taught me that, that the weapons are different. Weapons actually behave differently. And uh, the advantage of the knife is that I can swing it really fast. Um, took me a while to figure that out uh, because of course, the game is not explicit about this. This is actually, this is a really nice, nicely built level as long as uh, the player has the patience to play with it, right? Um, up until now, in order to get basic controls, the game has been very explicit about what buttons you're supposed to press in order to do what. Um, now we're getting into some of the like finer details of the controls, the control scheme, of the whole, like the game play. Um, and the game is is not relying on uh, pop-up tutorial boxes, which is fantastic. You don't want to rely on that. Um, whenever possible, you want the player to, to figure things out for themselves. 
that's how they're going to retain it. And that's how um, it's going to be... It, it, I mean, it just feels good to learn to like figure that out as opposed to being told. So, um, took me a while, but I figured that out. Is this a guy I'm supposed to kill? I assume this is a guy I'm supposed to kill because killing is all I ever do. Look at that. Stage clear. I got a briefcase. I'm supposed to go to a car. I have a briefcase. I can't pick up a weapon anymore. It says stage clear, which is great. Uh, but it's not really clear. Oh, but I can swing this briefcase! Sort of. Not super well. Okay. Oh, alright. Close, 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 close. No, there's nothing up there. I swear to god I hit him. So, uh... Now I gotta kill him. Which I do just by pressing space. I guess because I'm holding the briefcase, it's a different kind of a kill than, uh, than when I punch people in the face, I'm assuming. So I'm learning that, like, depending on what I have equipped, my behavior is going to be different. Which means that uh, I expect there to be a wide variety of weapons that will appear through the game, and, and I'm going to have to, like, test them all out and see what they do versus other weapons. So far, there's um, I have a sense of uh, damage potential. Uh, I have a sense of speed, like rate of fire, um, and range. The, the pipes, I think, are longer than the knives, um, but they do more damage uh, uh, than just punching, um, and the knives do more damage than that, um, and the shotgun was incredibly violent. Um, so, so I got this briefcase, something about a dumpster, I, I can't tell what these like flashing lines are, oh, it's um, power lines with like uh, laundry hanging from them or something. Who's there? I can hear you. I know you're there. This is the guy from the tutorial, right? The guy who was so aggressive towards me. Um, buttons are a little weird. I had to press the left mouse button to complete the stage, but all of my other interactions with the world have been with the right mouse button, so I'm not sure what that's about. Is the stage clear, or do I have to fight this guy with a baseball bat? Yeah, okay. So stage clear doesn't mean anything. Stage clear is a checkpoint. Here we go. Fuck, I just killed the tutorial guy. That's... And... <laughs> that's pretty much how I feel. Although, to be fair, I'm already becoming desensitized to the violence of it. Like, uh, the, the... The graphic nature of um, pounding in people's heads and, and, uh, and slicing them apart. Like, it's really brutal. Um, but it's already sort of becoming mere mechanics for me because I'm, I'm so concerned because the game is so fast paced um, and, uh, and hard. It's challenging, right? So I'm, I'm doing a, a puzzle like again and again and again, rapid, rapid fire. I stop paying attention to the dramatic elements that don't matter to me reaching the next checkpoint. All that I care about is reaching that next checkpoint. Um, very different approach to creating a game than like Papoyo, where um, that game was all about melding the actions that you're doing as a player and the narrative uh, on like a couple different levels uh, and trying to sort of make that one cohesive experience. This game is about, uh, I can already see this is about sort of separating those experiences. So when I look at it, when I take a step back and look at it, I'm horrified uh, by how violent it is and how violent I'm being. But when I'm playing the game, I'm not even thinking about that. Um, I'm going to take a two minute break um, and then we will be back with more Hotline Miami. I feel like I've just killed my mentor. This is, this is the beginning of the game starting right here. Uh, so I'll see you in a minute. 